Yo, what's going on, everybody? I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm going to be back on CBS Sports Radio tonight, okay? 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to be holding it down with you throughout the evening. Make sure you holler at me. Had a good time last night, and I got a lot of attention, and a lot of people hit me up about what I said about Odell Beckham Jr., and if you really ain't hear it or if you don't know, Odell Beckham Jr., one of the greatest wide receivers to ever come onto the NFL scene in several years, okay? This guy burst out, one-handed catch, decided to give the New York Giants some flair, actually gave the New York Giants some swag. But even while he was doing all of that, we would see him on the sidelines fighting nets. We would see him, you know, being riled up. And one time, the net actually hit him back. We saw the emotion. We saw that this guy loved football, and we saw that he was a phenomenal player. But over the years, we started to see plenty of things about Odell Beckham Jr. that don't have anything to do with the football field. How about a few years ago where they went uh, to the NFL playoffs when he was still a member of the Giants? And before that playoff game, he decided to hang out on a boat with Trey Songs. And I mean, I don't know what Trey Songs has to do with catching touchdowns, but that's what he decided to do before what I remember or believe was his first playoff game. And then what happened, I believe they faced off against the Green Bay Packers and they were demolished. I believe the final score was like 38 to 13. And everybody reminded Odell Beckham Jr., yo, bro, before the playoff game, you was on a boat with a singer, an R&B singer with the rest of your teammates. What about a couple of seasons ago where Odell Beckham Jr. was hanging out with some woman in a hotel room in Paris and it looked like there was weed and pizza up all on the bed? I'm not mad at you, OBJ, but why is that public? And this week, we saw during LSU and Clemson, this is supposed to be LSU's moment. This is supposed to be the moment for Joe Burrow and Odell Beckham Jr. is handing out cash to the players. And then yesterday, it came out that Odell Beckham Jr. has a warrant out for his arrest for simple battery because he playfully, I hope it's playfully, decided to smack an officer on the backside. So it always seems that Odell Beckham Jr. is at the forefront of every conversation. And a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with football. And, you know, I, I didn't even mention the interview he did with Lil Wayne, where he basically threw Eli Manning and the Giants under the bus. And so he goes to Cleveland, gets traded to Cleveland after the Giants said they wouldn't trade him. And he has an awful year. And it's not all of his fault. The man went out there, played hurt, still ended up with 1,000 yards, only had four touchdowns. He had a mediocre year for what he's expected to go out and do. But this is the thing. He puts so much focus on everything but football. We understand you like the game, dude. We understand that you're a person and you want to go ahead and live your life. But don't always complain when the negative attention comes back around you. You know, I think Odell Beckham Jr. has a few things that he should do. And first of all, I think it starts with sitting down, staying out the limelight, letting your game speak for you. We know how hard you work. You're one of the best. We know that you have natural talent. Your parents were both athletes. You're a freak of nature when it comes to the football field. And that's God given. And that's something that you work for and enhance through your work ethic. But when it comes to all of the, the all field distractions, live your life, bro. But don't get mad at the criticism that comes along with you. And I know a few friends I have in common with Odell, and, and we get it. He feels because he's black or African-American, he looks at somebody like Rob Gronkowski, and he says, yo, they don't criticize me the same way. If I, Rob Gronkowski gets away with a lot of the nonsense he does because he's white, they don't give OBJ a break. Well, sometimes you just got to let your work do the talking. And I'm real interested in seeing what Odell Beckham Jr. does into the future. I'm interested to see how this warrant gets served or issued because I just want to see this dude ball. He's exciting to watch. I hope he gets it together with the Cleveland Browns. But your grandmama used to tell you this sometimes. Your friends would tell you this at times. Sit your ass down, man. Just let your work ethic do the work. So that's what I had to say about Odell yesterday. Uh, quite a few people hit me up about it. I'm going to be back on CBS Sports Radio talking about it tonight. Make sure you follow me on IG. All my social media, Twitter, YouTube, everything is at JR Sport Brief. And if I'm not at CBS, you can catch me on NBA TV. And if I'm not on NBA TV, you can catch me on V103. Everything is at JR Sport Brief. Much love. I will talk to you all later. OBJ, sit down, bro. Be quiet. Future had a song like that. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.